But it is it's really interesting because you know, we are in an English town, but you could easily mistake it for not being English. Easily. There's loads of different mosques in Luton, is it that is, right? It is, yeah. How many roughly would you say? Roughly we're looking between at least 30 mosques in Luton town or area. Wow. That's quite a lot, no? It is quite a lot. Yeah. It didn't take long to witness firsthand the extremism I'd been hearing about. I wasn't sure what they were marching for, but tensions were running high. Your mother! Where is the case? How dare they touch a woman? It turns out the demo was in response to the arrest of local woman Mona Thorney, whose husband set off a bomb in Stockholm in 2010. No. I cannot believe this. No, 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 no. I've never seen anything on this scale before. No, 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 no. And it breaks my heart to think that this is happening in my house. Hand up, Muslims! Hand up, Muslims! Everyone's got a right to protest, but I found their chanting provocative and extreme. British police, go to hell! British police, go to hell! This is the message. To stop oppression. Police burning hell. British police burning hell. Yeah. Because no real Muslim wants anyone to burn in hell. Yeah, but for what they've done, for the consequences of You can't of pick and choose. You can't pick and choose. You can't. You either believe or you disbelieve. I, you know you what? You choose to wear this, I choose to wear that. You and I will That's have to... you look naked on the street. Do I look naked? Do I really? I don't look naked. Are you trying to seduce? No one's trying to seduce me, and I'm not trying to seduce anyone. You shouldn't judge me how I try not to judge you. You are. You've just said, who am I trying to seduce? No one. Well, I don't judge you because I'm above that. Excuse me, go and put on some clothes. How you choose to live slow, how you choose to dress like that, I choose to dress like this. You don't start. Don't you dare speak to me like that. No, this is my hometown as well. No, I'm walking. I am walking. No, I can do what I want. That girl's just I don't mind. Point away. Point away. Because you're not scaring me. I try my hardest to sympathise with people who are maybe different to me. And it's a tiny minority that play up. Who are you trying to seduce? Go and put some clothes on. You look naked. Oh. Such a shame. Do you think it's fair that you should say British police need to burn in hell? That's a freedom of speech. They can say we should say it. They can say it. In Islam, doesn't it say that you have to respect the law of the land that you're living in? No. Mm, I thought it did. One of the saddest things is people have brought their kids along. Any extreme group with extreme views should probably try and leave their kids out of it until they're old enough to make their own decision. So how are we ever gonna how are we ever gonna get there if they keep involving kids? Maybe I could get some sense out of Anjum Chowdhury, who I'd seen in the media spouting lots of extreme Islamic ideas. Um, please may you tell me who this group are and, and why you're out today. Yeah, you find here today uh, a number of people from Luton who are just ordinary Muslims from the local community. Some of them used to be part of Al Muhajirun yeah. or Muslims Against Crusades. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, they're here today because of the raid of two Muslim women earlier this month. And, uh, and they were also strip searched, so that is a violation of their honour. What's the solution? You know, if Muslim people are in the wrong and they are <laughs> committing crimes, you know, no one's above the law. If the law of the land is Islamic, we respect the law of the land. What if it's not Islamic? If it's not Islamic, then the law of the land and those who make it can go to hell, quite honestly, because Allah oh said in the Quran, gosh. in chapter 33, verse 1, he said, O Prophet, fear Allah and do not obey the disbelievers and the hypocrites. Is David Cameron a Muslim or a disbeliever? 
Guys, I can't speak leader. on camera. So you can't, you can't, you can't obey him. So, so he can go to hell as well as all of the other leaders. Do you, do you uh, let think me tell I you, should go to hell? Let me tell you something. We will. You, well, you're on your way to the hellfire because you're a non-Muslim. All non-Muslims, all non-Muslims non 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 <laughs> are destined for the hellfire. Do you really believe and, uh, that? Yes, and you will be fueled for the hellfire as well. But the fact is that you have an opportunity to change. That hurts me to think that you you think that of me because you don't really know me and you think I'm destined to hell because I'm non-Muslim. But you said you said you said you're not a Muslim, so that's enough for me to know that you're not Muslim. If you're not Muslim, you're destined for the hellfire, unless you change.